Uh, I just put up to the mall and you already know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. Shoot it with me forever, you already know how we shooting. You know how we shooting. I just put up in the phone, you already know how I'm bro. What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Saucy Boy Zane. I'm back with another video. If you're new, man, make sure you hit that sub button. Only takes a couple seconds. It will help a lot. Now we almost had 200. I told y'all if I had 200 before 2K20 dropped. I might give out a copy, bruh. But y'all ain't clicking the sub button. We only have like 186. We need 14 more. If you give me the 14 more by Thursday night, I will actually give out a copy of 2K20. But y'all ain't clicking the sub button, so you better be quick with it. We only got a little bit of time. 2K20 is right around the corner. But hey, man, on to the video. This right here is the best center build in the game. Now, I do have the most dominant, but this right here, in my opinion, is the best center build in the game. You have a very good finishing, you know. You can put up your height if you want. I didn't put my character 7'3", I'm pretty sure. So if you want to put your man 7'3", as you see, you know, the standing dunk always goes up on the center. If you put that up, you can go ahead and put that out for your standing dunk. And your driving and all that stuff will drop, even though it's already not that high in any way. So it matter, but you do lose a lot of stats when you go to 7-3. But as you see, man, we get 30 playmaking badges on a center. 30 playmaking badges on a center. Very effective. You're going to throw passes. Hall of Fame dimes. I told you all about the Hall of Fame dime throwing center, man. This is the build right here. I built this thing back when the demo first came out, but I was holding it to the end. I want to release this thing too early. A couple people may have built it, but I've really never seen this build on YouTube. I never really see people making this build. I haven't seen it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all this one. As you see, we get 12 finishing badges we do have a 74 midi with one shooting so you can go with catch and shoot you can go with corner specialist whatever badge you choose whatever you feel like you can use more and you still get the 30 play making badges you get three defense or like four defense something like that and your interior defense isn't the best as you see we get four the interior defense isn't the best so if you do want to add rim protector i winded up didn't adding rim protector onto this build i went rebound chaser just because you know if i'm grabbing the boards i'm gonna throw that hall of fame dime out of there i just want to be able to snag the boards and like i said you can go with you know paint protector whatever you want to do to help your defense that's all up to you now the height is one hard thing that you might not want to mess with too much as you see you lose a lot you know of speed accelerator you lose a lot on like centers and i feel like a lot of centers this year are going to be going seven three like they always do of course now i might not go 7-3 as you see we almost have a 70 speed on a center you're almost as fast as a small forward you're close to a 70 strength as you see if you put up you know your your weight and all that your wingspan you will get like a tad bit more strength we're almost close to a 70 strength with having that now for some reason i'm pretty sure like on guards or something else your wingspan when it goes up you get more strength i don't know i don't understand how your strength drops with your wingspan being more don't really make sense. But as you see here, we get post scoring and playmaking takeovers. Now, you can choose whatever one you want. It's all up to you to choose on your takeover. Now, as you see, man, we're a post playmaker. A post playmaker. Now, this is like the pure playmaking big man. Tell me I'm wrong. Now, you can do a lot with this build. You'll be very effective anywhere in the park and, and anywhere. My, my career. You're playing your friends. You're playing in a park. Like I said, pro-am anywhere during events you're going to be quicker than most bigs you're still grabbing boards you see your rebounding is in the 80s low 70 for the offense but you have the position you can still grab that board and you're very fast as you see that like i've been saying man you're quick for a big man almost a 70 speed you throw a boost on there if you're able to boost like your speed or any of that stuff you might be able to get a little bit faster now as you see we get a good amount of finishing badges giant slayer will help out a lot since you're not 7-3 you'll be able to finish on them drop stepper back down finisher and consistent finisher i feel like are the other best ones to get you know if you're backing people down you're drop stepping consistently you're going to be a post score so you're going to want those badges now you can go with catch and shooter corner specialist now for the video i went for corner specialist but really i would probably just say go for catch and shoot because it's the same thing but you can use it anywhere you can use it at the top of the key in the mid-range You'll be able to use it anywhere in the mid-range. I don't really remember why I went for corner specialist, but I would say just go for catch and shoot. Forget what I put there. Now, for the playmaking badges, man, you can get Hall of Fame Dimer on a center. Man, you can hold down a court. You can hold down the team. You're throwing dimes to anyone on your team, man. I'm talking about Hall of Fame Dimes, as you see. We got Break Starter, Dream Shake. Unpluckable, needle threader, lobster passer, floor jenner, post spin technician, and we still have more. Like, I don't even know what to do with the badges. I don't even know what to put Hall of Fame with the put gold. We just have so much to choose from. Now, you can put a couple other badges, but there's really not other many ones for the big man build. You're not going to be throwing the ball out. You're not going to be throwing flashy passes. Pass fake, my sure is going to be pointless. 
tight handles, no space crater, there's no point. Like, it's very, like, the other badges are honestly guard builds badges. There's nothing else to do, so I'd probably say you can just throw a couple of these Hall of Fame like I do. Breaks out would be very helpful. You're throwing full court Hall of Fame dimes. And you're able to launch that thing with a floor general and dream shake. So, you know, you can get those easy buckets and you still got post spin technician. So you'll be able to score like a pure post score, throw dimes, dunk, shoot mid ranges and do it all, man. This is the best big man build in the game. So, man, if you guys do like the video, make sure to hit that sub button, like the video, you know, get this thing on the recommended. The more likes, the more it will pop up for people to watch. Keep subbing up. We so close to 200. Like I said, we're possibly going to do a giveaway once I get to 200. Depending how fast y'all get me there. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like the center build. But this is my go-to center build for 2 k 20 s probably I'm going to run. Like I said, man, make sure you hit that sub button, like, and I'm out. Peace.